back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my 488 Pista and a rather unusual, uh, creepy pair of sunglasses. Today, we are talking watches. Let's shift up. Today is a very special edition of Watch Talk. I'm back on the channel talking watches. However, my usual uh, position, I assume, when I'm talking watches is on my sofa. Today is going to be an exception to that. Today, I'm talking about a very unique, very special watch. One that I've actually been waiting to show you for quite a long time. Now, many of you be aware there's been a pandemic very recently, and that has put back the launch and the reveal of this watch. I've actually got it on my wrist now, and we're gonna go into it in a second, but I just wanted to kind of preface and set this video up with a little bit of uh, behind the scenes. So I've actually been in possession of this watch and been teasing it for probably about two or three months now, but due to the pandemic, it's all been kind of uh, pushed back, but now is finally the time to reveal what has been going on. Uh, this is Kenzie, by the way. Hello, hello. Yeah. He, he's got a talking part, so he will be getting involved. And uh, throwing some questions out and just kind of mucking in. He doesn't have any lines per se. No. He'll just be uh, throwing in whenever he's off the hip. Yes. Mm. Many of you will also be aware of Centurion. I usually, when I'm in the Pista, have my Centurion key on my wrist. For those unfamiliar, the very few of you out there that are unfamiliar with Centurion, maybe you're just new to my channel, Centurion is the supercar key for your wrist. They make them out of all sorts of precious metals. Pretty much anything you can dream up, they will put together. You can even get them with pieces of the moon, put in the platinum, diamonds, all the rest of it. I've got a rather fetching uh, gold number with a red strap and black diamonds on it. I'll show you some pictures of that now. The internet's magic. They have now built in their incredible tech and their high-tech design and amazing materials into a watch and car key all in one. We're gonna jump out of the car in a second. I'm gonna go into all of it. Well, I'm really excited to show you this. As I say, I've had this for a while and I've had to hide it from you all because there's kind of been an embargo on it before the global launch, but now it is actually time to show you it. I'm a wetty, wetty excited. So, without further pish posh, let's get into it. parked up and I'm give you a little demo of what's going on and exactly what I've now got on my wrist. This then is my new watch, the new offering from Centurion. Not only does it match the 488 in terms of the strap and the bits of red and the detailing on it, but it's also actually made for the Ferrari 488. This one particularly is a limited edition of 30 units. What makes this watch so special then? Other than of course the unique design, the skeletonized chronograph movement in there finished beautifully I must say. Don't know if you can pick that up there. Inside there. What makes it different though and what makes it unique is what it actually does as well. So the more observant ones out there amongst you will have noticed this button here. This button unsurprisingly is for locking and unlocking your supercar. In this instance, this is programmed to my 488 Pista. It works with any car that has a fob like this. Now, modern Ferraris, as most of you will know, have this kind of egg-shaped, plasticky fob thing, which really isn't of any use to anyone. It feels terrible, it looks a bit terrible, and to be honest with you, a more elegant solution is definitely order of the day. And that's what Centurion Key have done and have been doing for the past few years. They have now put that technology into a sick watch. So. I don't carry around this with me anymore. There's no point. It's all got this uh, faff and whatnot attached to it as well, this gump. Uh, but I don't carry this around anymore. I literally just wear this watch, not only to kind of tell the time, but also locks and unlocks my car. Further to that, when you get in the car, instead of having this on you and meaning that the car starts, all you need on you is this, and the car will register that the key is in the car, and the car will actually start up. A really cool tech solution in a really nice, statement watch. I really like the machining in there and the finishing. You can really kind of see all the workings going on there. You can see the balance wheel buzzing away up there. And as I say, all those dials in there are fully functioning. Really, really nicely made. Let's get it off. Getting it off then is actually super simple. It's got this clasp on it, similar to that on a Richard Mills, and a very thick 
high quality rubber strap. You pull on it and it pops open from both sides and the buckle there is used to adjust the size. I've got skinny little wrists, so I'm near the end there. Feels really nice and well put together, very, very sturdy and it's got very strong springs on there as well. So you couldn't literally rip it off someone's wrist when you're walking along, which is actually quite useful. Now the watch is off then, we can take a look at some of the details. So, so nice. And that's actually better light now looking at that. So, it's got a lot of presence on the wrist. The case is relatively deep and we can take a look at the full tech specs below in the links below. The bolts are very nicely finished with a little kind of S logo in there. There's loads of nice little details all around. We've got a blacked out mid case anyway, rose gold accents on the back case, and we've got blacked out case back there as well with the details on it, also stating limited edition and the number of it. The blue strap there, apologies, a little bit dirty. I've been wearing this a lot. As I say, every time I've been out in the 488, this has been on and I've uh, kept it from you all, you swines. And the black elements also extend to the clasp. We have a gold buckle here as well. And it's worth noting at this point, there are loads of different models to choose from and you can actually customize them as well. If you ask Centurion very nicely, they will create whatever you want. So currently in the range then, there are actually carbon cases. Some of the dials are non-skeletonized as well. So worth going and checking those out. I'll leave all the links below to go and see the full range available. There are or will be, I'm sure, titanium cases or whatever you want them to make it out of. You will also be able to get diamonds on the case and whatever you so please. You can also see the black details extend to the bezel here with Centurion bolts on the front in a black DLC also. Really, really nice case and you really need to kind of hold one of these in person, put it on the wrist to really appreciate the presence of this watch and how well made it all is. As I said, I've got very, very skinny wrists. I've got very girly wrists, something I'm not that proud of, but it actually fits really well. You'd look at that and think you'd need wrist the size of a silverback, but you actually really don't. It fits really well. It's heavy as well, but not so heavy that you would fear falling in a body of water and you'd drown. It's actually very nicely put together and I've actually fondled the carbon one as well it's very lightweight and very very nice it's got green elements on it as well the carbon one i had a real kind of toss up deciding which one to get but in the end i went for this one i'm a little bit ostentatious and i thought Do you know what this old boy it's a good one many of you will be asking then how they get from that to that you actually need to give centurion your key it's not a long process you'll need to give them your key your spare key and they will take effectively the tech out of that they will replicate it and put it into this. Now it's all totally secure. This watch has the same level of tech in it as the FOB. So you don't need to worry about people hacking into it and nicking your car. It's all completely secure. and something they've developed over years. It's a really, really clever system. And as I say, I will leave all the links to go and check out fully how it's all done below. But just be aware, you will need to pop into either Centurion in London or send it away. It doesn't take long at all, but that is the process and that's how it's done. They don't just kind of program it out of the blue. They do need to do that though, to make sure it is all secure. And that's the best way of doing it. It's exactly the same tech as in the bracelets you've seen before on my channel, on my wrist, on Shmi's channel as well, actually. I think Alonso now has also been seen sporting one as well. So yeah, it's the same tech, but it's now gone into the watch. And many people I remember when I was walking around with my Centurion key on asking, is that a watch? Well now, finally, I can say yes it is it's something people have been asking for for years and now they've finally done it super cool i think you'll agree that is a lot better solution than that thing i'm quite happy now to be leaving that at home so as threatened at the start of the video then kenzie here is going to offer up some faq so kenzie have you got any questions to ask me yeah when can i get one when can you get one that's a very good question all the availability will be on the site very shortly if not at the point this video is going out plans have had to be put back and I believe there's something going on in London which I need to remain slightly tight-lipped about, but that is coming very soon. So yeah, yeah quite a big on. So go on. Yeah. Um, you got another how much one? is it going to cost me as well? How much is it going to cost? Prices are going to be in line with that of the bracelets. Those familiar with the bracelets already will know that these things are not cheap, nor should they be, nor can they be. Tens of thousands, should we say. The right. full prices, it does vary model to model. And as with the bracelets, I'm sure you can go up to a quarter of a million plus. Uh, but for the one on my wrist, it's going to be sort of tens of thousands. It's not going to be over six figures, that's for sure. Okay, and then, so obviously we're in London. What about yeah. the people that are out in London? people out of London. For those out of London, then you can actually do it very easily. Centurion make it very easy to get your key sent off and transported. They sort all of that stuff out and they'll do all the tech and it'll turn up program. So don't worry about that, Kenzie. You are in London though, so, yeah, so yeah. you don't, you don't need to panic at this point. Go to a store, can't I? And... You can. Funny you should say store. We'll, uh, I'm sure that will be all revealed very soon of what's yeah. going on on that. I'm very excited to see one in the flesh. Like, just but, so I can put it on my wrist. Obviously, you're wearing one. Well, you mustn't, you mustn't take it off me, Kenzie. No, I'm not going to steal it. You mustn't. Okay. Mind. 
I will, I will uh, attack you. Well, it's programmed to my car. And that's, the, that's kind of the joy of it as well. It's personalised to me. Not only are they limited, it's also personalised. So Kenzie here, uh, you wouldn't be able to just nick it off me no. and open your car with it. You could send it off to Centurion and say, can you reprogram it? But they'd contact me and they'd be like, nah, mate. Oh, I've been caught. Mm, that. And that's how they get you. Yeah. Um, so there are going to be loads of models coming soon on these. Uh, and I'm very excited. I might get them uh, programmed for my other cars. However, F12 has got a standard key in it. So it's not right for the F12. I'm just trying to think what other cars. Turbo S. The 992 Turbo S, we might get one for that, but I don't know whether or not it's still got a thing in the dash that you turn. No, it doesn't want to I don't know. No. Well, it's just keyless. an egg. Yeah. Oh, it's just keyless. Okay, perfect. That's good. I might get onto the Centurion boys and see yeah. whether or not I can get one for the Turbo S. I'm thinking a blacked out kind of vibe, maybe a carbon one with a black strap. Anyway, I think that's it. Any other questions? Uh, no, I can think of, no. I'll just watch your video back. Uh, You'll watch it back because yeah. he hasn't been listening. He's uh, been uh, pontificating over there. Uh, <laughs> Working from home, <laughs> same as me, um, hopefully. Fairly busy, Tom. Does anyone you work with watch these videos? Hopefully not. <laughs> we, we are, no, it's a weekend, it's a weekend, I promise. It is a weekend. Yeah, okay, good. On that note then, <laughs> oh, oh, asthma. On that note then, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, rather different episode of Watch Talk. It's something new on the channel. I appreciate it might not be for everyone. The previous generation of Centurion keys were not for everyone. I realised they're a little bit Marmite, I think they're sick, I love a bit of tech, I love wearable tech, and I love things that are a little bit kind of out there. I love this kind of stuff, and that's why I'm putting it on the channel. This channel's all about things that I enjoy, I wanna share with you guys and girls, and as always, I'm interested in your thoughts. For now though, check them out below, and stay tuned for more cool stuff with Centurion, because there's, uh, there's bits going on that I can't wait to share with you all. So stay safe, look after each other, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!